All right, this is called No Bullshit. This is a 2018 Toyota Tacoma with 120, we'll just call it 121, 12708. I'm gonna check the oil before we get into the secret sauce, the black magic, the voodoo that I do. The voodoo that I do. So before I get into it, I wanna make sure that the engine is full of Earl. Oral or Earl. So many different people say it in many different ways like radiator and radiator. Uh, so let's pull the stick. Hope that it's full. She is not full. She is not full. You know, you know why it's not full? Because the rear main seal's leaking. Rachel! Come hold my phone for me while I'm videotaping. Hold on, I'm on the phone. What's more important that I'm you help me? She's doing her job. Um, so, we're gonna use the old shirt wipe. Dipstickish is wiped clean. We are gonna stick it in the hole. Stick it in the hole. Stay there, YouTube. And then we're gonna bring it back. We are gonna say she's about Ah, about a quart low. So we're going to top this off. We're going to top this off. We're going to top this off just to get started. Off. Um, we are going to use the secret sauce. And I'm not going to tell you what that is, everyone. I'm gonna get you on the hook first and see if I can make a believer out of you. Stay with me. Just gonna show them the process. Telling the story of the reading of the week. The best ultraviolet dye in the business. Sometimes this could be a long video. What we are gonna add is an ultraviolet dye to the system. Sorry for the dead space, but stay with me because that's important. Let's see if I can't make you a believer. Push start. Push to start. All right, hop on the Mazda. All right, so we're gonna put it up in the air. Average time for this to work. If it's not a huge problem, mechanically, with a worn seal, uh, within 20 minutes or less you'll see an improvement. If it is a minor problem, 
uh, this is usually a five or ten minute uh, chemical reaction. And the reason I put ultraviolet dye in there um, is because I didn't see ultraviolet dye added to the previous oil change. Um, and sometimes it, you can see it, most of the time you can see it in the oil. So we're going to get it up in the air. horrible how Toyota's quality is just went down the tubes and people not maintaining their cars like they used to. And I get it. I get it. Groceries are, you know, triple what they used to be. We're going to get this all wiped off because this is just all oil. All engine. And like I said, if it's a minor problem, this usually will get, get right on it and stop it instantly. And if you're overfilling your oil and you're putting too much pressure in the engine, you're defeating the purpose. We're gonna let this run for a few minutes. And to me, it doesn't look like this truck was abused, but you know, people following Toyota's recommendations for engine oil maintenance is ridiculous. Stick to 3,000 mile oil changes and you won't have problems like this, I promise you. And the right oil, the right oil for your engine. That makes a huge difference, everyone. So what we're looking for is anything coming out of that hole and I don't believe we're going to see it so I'm going to hit it with some brake clean down there too. And then we're going to let it run. And now sometimes running the engine also makes it leak worse or seals it up because there's oil moving around it. When it's really bad, this thing will just continue to drip and then naturally just slow right up. And I've done this for transmission pump seals too. So if you guys are interested in the, mag the magic sauce, I do sell it. I do sell my magic sauce. My voodoo stuff. look at the car yeah two rear hub bearings she has another noise too it's roaring is what she's complaining about not revving <clears throat> roaring yes and some customers can't communicate properly what's wrong with their car and sometimes you know we have to figure that out sometimes we're mind readers sometimes we're magicians sometimes we're mechanics <clears throat> yeah that one we can figure out when you go through different exhaust instead of revving noise a lot of customers relate that to exhaust and then we get in the car and we're like it's not exhaust exactly and I will tell you this, if she didn't get her car maintenance at Jiffy Lube and had its maintenance by a real mechanic, because that's the last place you change her oil, she would have more answers to what's wrong with her car. Oh yeah. That's the truth, people. It's really, it's Jiffy Lube like... multi-care doesn't mean Jiffy Lube master mechanics. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can hear chop tires just bringing them in the shop. I can hear them, I can see the pattern it leaves on the lift, on the tires. Like that's the difference between a seasoned mechanic and technician, that you see a problem 
that the customer may be aware of but really doesn't know it's a problem. You know what I mean? For the instant, if they were here for an oil change, we would bring it in a lot, put it up in the air, and we'll say, help the rear tires were chopped. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like quick, <laughs> Tell the customer, like, hey, you know, you definitely got a tire problem. Do you need it? Is there anything else that you notice? And they're like, hey, yeah, it's uh, blah, 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 blah. And then get further into looking at the car. Yeah. All right, so far, so Gucci. So I just want to show you guys, there's no leaks above. Right, nothing coming off the valve cover, dripping on the catalytic converters, nothing coming from the oil core area. Nothing really up that way, a little bit of seepage that way. But the seepage that way could be just slinging in the bell housing. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm worried about right hither. So I'm pretty confident that this leak is resolved. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it down and we're going to shut it off and then we're going to see if the oil pressure is, is ghosting me. And sorry about the beginning of the video. Uh, sometimes you got to hang in there for stuff like that, you know. Us guys like South Main Auto and a bunch of other us guys that are out here, you know, we're in compromising positions sometimes to bring you the content that you deserve and need. And this by far is not the worst rear main seal uh, voodoo stuff that I've done. Black Magic. Um, I've had them leave a trail of oil coming into the shop and pump a quart within 20 minutes out and slowed this up to a drip. Um, and sometimes you need a, a second service, uh, but it depends on how bad it really is, you know? In most cases, this is better than a thousand or two thousand dollar rear main seal job or crank and bearings in the rear main seal, you know? Every, every condition of why the rear main seal failed is different. Oh, so we'll give this a few seconds here to see if she starts to drip. I'm going to tell you, I think I got it. When you saw the oil was just all over here. I mean, you can see that there's some oil stains back here on the exhaust, the sludgy stuff. That's from engine oil. From just dripping, 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 dripping back on the exhaust. I got it. That fast. Pretty impressive, right? What? Stop. Yeah. I mean, this wasn't horrible, horrible, but it was there enough to drip here, be all over the pan and back on the exhaust. So running it, got it that fast and uh, shutting it off just to see if it changes with oil pressure. And um, you saw, you see it here. We saw it here live. If I get a worse one, uh, we, we do have one. The Larry's Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, dude, I ran that. His, the rear main seal was pissing so bad. It took me an hour to slow it down to just a drip. An hour of, of my magic potion. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry for the, the long delay, but you know, there's nothing like having real, real proof, right? No fast forwarding, no editing, just boom. Give, it, give, the, give you the content 100%. See you guys.